pyroclastic flows are one of the most deadly of volcanic hazards. They are rapidly moving avalanches of hot rock, dust and gas that flow down the sides of a volcano and into surrounding valleys. They can climb up and over ridges and high ground. They are dangerous because they flow much faster than a person can run, and often faster than a car. So for those in their path, there's little chance of escape. What makes them especially lethal and devastating is that they're extremely hot. During the day they appear grey and ashy, but at night they can be seen glowing red hot. They destroy and burn anything in their way. Death or severe injury is certain for those caught by a pyroclastic flow. There are two main ways pyroclastic flows may form. Sometimes a volcano explodes and forms a fountain of hot pulverised rock and gas that first rapidly rises into the sky and then falls back, forming pyroclastic flows which race down the sides of the volcano. Other times, instead of an explosion, sticky lava oozes out of a volcano and piles up around the summit. Pyroclastic flows can then form by parts of the lava collapsing. Although pyroclastic flows normally move down valleys, extremely hot, fast-moving, billowing clouds form above them, which can spill out of valleys. This means that even people on high ground are not safe. Pyroclastic flows normally travel to distances of 5 to 10 kilometres from the volcano summit, but in the biggest eruptions they reach much more than 20 kilometres. Volcanoes that haven't erupted for many decades or even centuries may appear peaceful, but when they awaken, the eruptions are often very large and explosive. Scientists can detect that a volcano is reawakening and are able to provide some warning or advice to evacuate, which is the only protection from pyroclastic flows.